Hello children, let us continue to know more about what books and burials tell us about the Vedic age. Currently, we are learning about the early Vedic age which lasted from between 1500 before Christian era to 1000 Christ before Christian era. Now let us know how the people were described in those times. During the Rig Vedic age, the people were described on base of the work that they did, the type of language they spoke, the place of their origin, their family, the community to which they belonged and the cultural practices that they followed. There were two groups of people divided on base of the work. The one group was called that of priest or Brahmins who were involved in performance of various rituals and worshipping the God. The other group people were called the Rajas. Yes children, Rajas were the leaders of the group of people. But they are absolutely different type of Rajas from the type of image of kings that we have in our mind. These Rig Vedic Rajas did not live in palaces or in the capital cities with large group of armies. They did not collect taxes from the people nor did they get the empire or the kingdom from their fathers or ancestors. But these Rajas were amongst the people only but who were often brave and skillful warriors and chosen by the assemblies of people as their leader. Just as in today's times how we elect our leaders by the process of election. These Rajas guided their men to fight battles and wars and also to protect their tribe from enemy attacks. In Rig Veda, the group of people have been described in two words. One word is Jan, which we still use in Hindi language. For example, Bharat Jan, Yadu Jan, Uru Jan, etc. The other word used is Vish. The word Vaishya that we use nowadays comes from this word Vish. Children, there were other two groups of people also. One of them was Aryans. Aryans were the people who composed the hymns. They were very learned, very well-mannered and sophisticated. They believed in performance of yagnas or the sacrifices and chanted hymns or bhajans and shlokas. Their language was Vedic Sanskrit language. Whereas dasas or dasyus were very opposite to them. The dasas did not believe in performance of sacrifices or yagnas and nor did they speak Sanskrit language but a different language. It is believed that the Aryans overpowered this Dasyu group of people and made them their slaves who were supposed to do all kind of work for them. The female of this group were known as Dasis or female servants. At times the men and women who were captured in war were also treated as slaves and made to do work for them. Now children, while Rig Veda was being composed in the northwest part of our Indian subcontinent, there were other changes and developments that place in other areas of our subcontinent about which we will be learning in the next video. Till then, read this lesson carefully, revise the topics and complete the written work that will be following soon.